What's up everyone, the Nintendo Switch might be every gamer's dream console but what if I told you that you could bring that experience straight to your Android phone anytime, anywhere. Imagine playing titles like The Legends of Zelda, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Hollow Knight, even Pokemon all on your mobile. Sound too good to be true? Let me introduce you to Eden Emulator. Eden is a completely free and open source Nintendo Switch emulator designed for Android 10 or above built on the legendary Yuzu source code. Eden takes the same foundation that made Yuzu one of the greatest and bring it direct to your phone. What makes Eden truly stand out is its performance focus. With consistent update and optimization, it's quickly becoming to go to choice for gamers who want console quality gameplay in their pocket. So in today's video, we are diving into the Eden emulator, the future of Switch gaming on Android, how it transforms mobile gaming forever. Now let's start the first step by downloading the Eden app on our Android phone Fortunately, Eden is available in the official GitHub and the GitHub repo you will see three different versions which can be confusing. Here is a quick breakdown. Standard version is best for most modern Android devices. Optimize is still for who want to use the enhanced version of Eden which offering and legacy is only for devices running low-end space. Personally, I recommended the optimized version for smoother gameplay launch the application and you will be greeted by the emulator's welcome screen. Click on get started and then grant the necessary permissions to allow notifications from the emulator. Next, the emulator will prompt you to enter the production ID or product keys. Without these keys, you won't be able to run any games. Then emulator will ask you to install firmware. Installing firmware is not mandatory but it needs when you want to play the high-end games. Now the emulator will ask you to locate your games folder for your kind information Eden supports both XCI and NSP formats. When you first see the interface at the top, there is Eden branding and then search option for easy navigation. View modes include traditional grid and list plus a new way to view carousel which is really good. You can organize your games by alphabet, recent played or recently added. Before we are going to start playing, let's configure a few settings. Click on the gear icon at the bottom right corner then select advanced settings and open system tab. I recommend turning off the limit speed option so the emulator can utilize your device full potential but sometimes this can actually cause lag because disabling the limit speed forces 60 fps and some games may not handle that well. If you enable the docked mode it will increase the resolution but might reduce performance. Keep it disabled if your device isn't powerful enough. At the last, disable the NCA verification. In the graphics settings, keep CPU accuracy set to normal. You can set resolution up to 4x which is only for the high-end devices but I suggest you using 1x which is equivalent to 720p for the balanced resolution. If you on a low-end device, go with 0.5x or 0.25x. Keep in mind higher resolution require the more power. Adjust this based on your device capabilities. Enable force maximum clocks only if you are using an Arduino GPU. For VSync mode, I recommend it using immediate which basically means a turn off for anti-aliasing method. Set it to FXAA. Set any topic filter to 2x. Leave Windows binary at default binary in aspect ratio choose stretch to window for maximum display coverage then you can see two options performance overlay and device overlay these options are used to display and monitor while you are playing games the performance overlay shows appears temperature battery uses etc 
the device overlay shows your device model, GPU model, SOC model, etc. There is an option for audio settings, it's perfect, so no need to change anything. Now go to the debug settings. Here we have only Vulkan API is available, so we don't have any other choice. There is an another interesting and futuristic option that is Eden's Valley. It's a brand new experimental settings panel and it's a total game changer for powerful users in the upcoming days. Disclaimer, it's under development so I'm not going to use it. Next, head back to the main settings menu where you will find an option to install custom GPU driver. By default, the emulator selects your device GPU driver, but you can install a custom one for better performance. If you don't know about GPU drivers and where you will get it, here is a simple solution from Eden. By clicking fetch, you will have a built-in GPU driver feature. At the top, you can see your GPU model and recommended driver, which means Eden's system automatically detects the best driver for you and that's everything I know about Eden and now you know if I missed any information or you have any suggestions or corrections please leave it in the comment section so make sure to hit the like button subscribe and turn on the bell icon because trust me you don't want to miss what coming next